Actors and actresses, what is filming a sex scene like? This is not a sex scene but when I was at university I was in a show that called for me to be topless major plot point except a kid on the run crew was a minor so they legally couldn't. There were entire rehearsals and multiple costume fittings trying figure out a way to rig a backless and strapless bra and how to position me on a quarter thrust stage so it was invisible and I was believably topless. I ended up with this weird flesh colored silicone harness thing and my scene partner who was supposed to be incredibly turned on by my stripping, said he could barely keep a straight face because it looked so ridiculous. Another time I was brutally raped on stage and one of my scene partners got a huge boner one night which was the most uncomfortable thing I have ever experienced. Theater actor here. All I know is that there is a special intimacy training you have to take. If you get paired up with a person that may or may not like, you cannot express a non-professional gesture, like saying, yes. Also you have to protect yourself from directors. Not saying directors are malice, but they tend to overstep what is comfortable for an actor. Oh and you need 24 or 48 notice prior to in performing an intimate act. Actor here. I'm more of a charactery type, so intimate scenes for me are few and far between, but do still happen. Communication is really key, especially on some low budget and TV shoots where you literally meet the person you're about to be intimate with while they're setting up the lights for the scene. One TV show in particular, I had to be in the sock basically a flesh colored thong that covers Johnson and Co but little else while my scene partner was topless with nipple covers and a flesh colored thong. We had little time to prep, so it was change, then hop into bed, block the scene with the director and then talk through comfort amongst ourselves before the shot began. I was very sure to make it clear that if my acting partner had any qualms or hiccups during the scene she was relatively new that she should stay stop and that was that. Also, I talked through the choreography because it's important to not stray from what has been discussed for obvious reasons beat by beat to make sure we were on the same page. This is just common courtesy, and for myself extremely important for my scene partner to know that I have their back as well as my own. As for being enjoyable, if you think thrusting two tight thongs under covers close to each other while wondering how your pale pale backside is going to look on film, then I guess this is your kink. Actor here, it's very not sexy. Instead it's highly choreographed and rehearsed I'm going to touch you here, you'll move there. We kiss here with hopefully an intimacy coordinator non-union films will not always have one. So it's important to learn how to advocate for yourself to the director and your acting partner if anything feels uncomfortable. The goal is to have it completely down pat with your partner so that there is no improvisation. Usually it begins with both actors telling the other their no-fly zones. I always say, please don't touch my groin, or touch between my butt cheeks. It's awkward, but can be sort of a funny icebreaker. Once no-fly zones are established, the intimacy coordinator works with the actor's director to establish what the choreography will be. Then the shooting can take hours, even for a two-minute scene. If they just want a master, a close-up, and the reverse which is standard, each shot can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours before they begin rolling, and then you have to do multiple takes. A minimum would be three takes for each shot, but almost always it's closer to 7 to 15 depending on the director and DP. One of the interesting things about film acting too is perspective and what looks good on camera. Next time you're watching a scene in a car, take a second to look at how the characters are positioned, how their seats are positioned. It's usually not in any way how a human being would ever sit, but it reads as totally normal on camera. This is the same for intimacy scenes. You might be in a super awkward position, not sexy at all but it reads on camera as super sexy. Last but not least, try getting in the mood when one wearing a dance belt, and two there's anywhere from 15 to 50 people watching. My cousin's first every stage performance he had to kiss the main leading girl and then slap her on the ass and then leave the house. He kissed her and then slapped her on the ass as scripted and she farted and both of their personal mics picked it up and amplified it through the whole theater. I was in a theater show where I had to sit next to a girl and feel her boob. The second I read it in the script I started feeling anxious about it. When I was talking to the actress about the scene she seemed totally cool with everything so for the whole two week run of the show she got her boob groped every day and twice on Wednesdays and Sundays. My first time kissing on stage on rehearsal I missed the colleague's face. Every day I pray to forget that moment. Fun was actually talked about this recently in a podcast. Imagine how awkward it would be to hardly know someone. Hold their hand while walking down the street and trying to remember your lines. Now take all that. 
Expect you're mostly naked. In a small room, sweaty and and there are 20 people watching you. And in Keanu Reeves' case, the woman is the director's wife. Made a film in college with people from my dorm. I only really knew the director well. I was the lead actor and some girl on the floor below mine was cast as the lead female role. Before we did any shooting, all the actors with big parts did a table read together. Went through the script and suggested changes to dialogue, acting cues and whatnot to make it flow better and feel more realistic. Or to change something to make it more comfortable for the actors. When it came time for our sex scene which was just making out and beginning to strip off clothing, falling on top of one another we were at the set location, which was some girl's apartment, and only the lead actress, the director, and myself were on set, we talked through the scene one last time, made some clarifications on things and sat down to do it. It didn't really feel like much when filming it. We had to kiss a few times to get different angles in case our director friend wanted a different shot, and she kept forgetting her line immediately after the first kiss, which was funny at first but got annoying after the fifth or sixth time, but we filmed it and then he yelled cut. We laughed about actually getting the shot, and moved on to the next scene. I'm not an actor, but have previously worked in the industry. I know actors who have performed sex scenes. The general consensus amongst them is that the scenes are anything but sexy. One guy said he was worried about getting an erection, but soon forgot about it as being in a room with 10 other people and two cameras took the sexy away. A two-minute sex scene might take half a day to film. If the actress wants to be modest, they might have to do a couple takes in case something was caught on film that shouldn't have been. Another chick has done a few sex scenes. She's professional about it, but always says to any guy it's okay if you get hard. I understand. She said it's happened once, but it didn't really bother her. Amateur actor. Have done exactly one of these. It was very awkward and quite cold, but it was a very small production, so I wasn't pressured into anything I wasn't comfortable with. Actor here. Stage and film. There's a certain awkwardness to get over with your partner at first, but an intimacy coach can help create a process that is safe and comfortable for all involved. The actual scenes themselves depend on what content is involved. I've done scenes with an a shirt on and under sheets where it was actually a bit of a challenge because you have to make it look like you're having sex, so there's a lot more accentuating of movement to make it look realistic. I've not needed to do the super intense fully naked sex scenes, but camera angles help regardless of how clothed you are. Ultimately, I'm a trained professional and it's just another scene so I figure out what needs to happen and do it while seeming authentic. Former actor and now director here, it's only as awkward as the people involved are. Typically everyone is professional, mature, and understands that this is the behavior their character would engage in, so they want to portray it as best as they can. Most approach it very professionally. As a director I get rid of all non-essential people on set, but make sure that there are enough around that it doesn't feel creepily empty. Anybody who I feel would make it weird isn't allowed. Communication is key. I always let the actors set their own boundaries. I describe my ideal scenario, then let the actors agree to it or offer a compromise. I let them know that at any point they can change their mind. There are tons of little skin-colored pasties, adhesive panty strips, and cock socks for the actors to wear. Sometimes people get turned on, it's only natural, and in that case we takes breaks to chill out and then resume later. What's a nice niche to fit? I was shooting a short non-explicit sex scene for a short film while being so freaking sick. I had to take breaks from shooting a film to go shot diarrhea out of my feudal weak body. Thankfully everyone was professional about it. The shooting itself was quite interesting. I was laying on my back. The other person sitting on me both of us pants on. Camera operator standing above us. So there were three layers of people on the bed. We were grinding under the sheets only when it was necessary for a couple of seconds, maybe three times. Then we were shooting details of our hands locking into one another, our faces, running fingers through hair and so. The voiceover was the most fun part. We had a blast sinking our awes and oh gods with the footage. I'm an amateur actor but legit enough to have an IMDB page I didn't set up myself. Have done sex scenes. They are incredibly awkward and a tiny bit sexy. One time, the director was just off camera, reading out instructions line by line, which felt incredibly strange. Like having a parent with you in the bedroom, a parent who had written a script for you and your girlfriend to follow, but didn't trust the two of you could get it done without live instructions. Another time, the dude the actress was dating placed himself in my eye line, so that I locked eyes with him every time I kissed her, had to tell him to go stand somewhere else. 
Other than that, it's like every other scene. Hopefully you trust your director and can forget about the cameras for a moment. Theater actor here. So a bit of a different perspective. The show that I was rehearsing for before the pandemic featured intimate moments, albeit not full on sex scenes, and we had an intimacy coordinator. On one hand, they act like a fight choreographer, mapping out the moves so that way they are the same every time. No one drops any surprises on their partner. On the other, they act as sort reps or liaisons for the actors. They will discuss with the director what their vision is for the scene and try to replicate that while maintaining their actor's boundaries. So before any physical work starts, they lead conversations between partners about what their no goss are and what is okay. They will also help establish a tap in between partners, which is a little shared gesture, like a high five or handshake, between actors that indicates that what they are about to be doing is work and separate from them as people. What are the chances that someone in the comments is a big Hollywood star? Most major films today use an intimacy coordinator to help direct these scenes. They discuss boundaries with the actors and plan out the action beforehand so everyone is comfortable and knows what to expect. I'd imagine it's like the scene from Love Actually. Those two are hilarious in the sex scenes. Always cracks me up how nervous he is asking her out when she's on her knees in front of him. Not an actor. But here's an interview with Kira Knightley and Samuel L. Jackson about what sex scenes are like. I wanna apologize now for getting excited. I also wanna apologize now for not getting excited. As long as you and the other person are acting professionally, it's just work really. Funny story. I had to get a BJ during scene in a live show. The show was site specific and took place in and around three scaffolds built inside the space so the audience could stand basically anywhere to watch the scenes unfold. During the final scene of the first half, I climb up one of the scaffolding and the scene goes on. Pay the women and get the deed done not a bother in the world. During the interval I check my phone and I have a text from my mate. I don't know what was funnier. Your face while getting your dick sucked or your nanny and ma's faces looking up at you. Couldn't look my nanny in the face when the show was over. From what I understand there's usually an intimacy choreographer to make sure all goes well. Kinda like a fight choreographer but ideally no one gets punched or thrown from a train. I was reading this and suddenly remembered I had done this for a short film in college. It was literally the least erotic thing ever. There were at least five other people in the room lights. Sound. Camera. Director. The girls roommates etc. And you are just trying to remember what you are supposed to do while acting naturally. Super. Super awkward. This wasn't a sex scene as much as an implied sex scene. 